Hi guys, Dane here and I will be your editor today. So uh, my good friend Charles Heathcote has asked me to help out uh, with the edits on his new novel. So I'm very excited to be on board. I've read both of Charlie's uh, Doris books in the past and been like pretty vocal fan of them I would say. And uh, you know I've edited books before as well so it's cool to be you know editing this one with Charlie when it's a book. I'm, I'm really happy to be on board with this. Uh, I said I was going to try and capture some footage of me doing this to share my reactions and stuff. We're currently having a slight problem in that my computer is kaput. But yeah, um, we're at the stage at the moment where I have done the first hour of editing and provided uh, some copy edits and a few uh, comments here and there. It's it's not a huge, it's more like a, it is a, it's a cross between copy editing and proofreading really at this stage. There's not, uh, I've not like advised any major changes yet. There have been a few like turns of phrase where I'm, I've sort of suggested maybe don't do that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really, really enjoying reading it as, as well so far. Uh, it's one of those interesting ones because, I don't know, part of me would like to have I, I'm really proud to be editing it, but I also love to just read and enjoy a book for the first time. So editing is more like uh, more like work, I suppose. But I'm not complaining because I get to read it before everybody else. So, and I'm the person you need to come to and talk to as well if you find like a typo in there or something that you think the editor should have caught. That will be my fault. Okay, so I'm going to go back to uh, back to work. Hey, Biggie, say hi. We've been editing Charlie's book, haven't we? Yes, we have, and actually we are sitting here as well, representing with Doris Ahoy, which I've just read and will be filming a review of today for my booktube channel. So we're up to five hours in on the edit, and we're about a third of the way through. I'm really enjoying reading it so far, actually. It's also interesting because parts of it are set in Partridge Muse, which is where bits of the R. Doris books are. So it's quite cool reading that. It's almost like uh, reading a book in the Stephen King multiverse, you know. So that's been enjoyable. Um, there are a few, like, stylistic things throughout that I've been sort of picking up on, just like, you know, whether you have a full stop after mister and things like that um which have just been we've been tweaking to make consistent uh there's no real like development edits needed so i'm at, currently at the point where some bodies have shown up so it's getting very interesting but i don't want to say too much in this because i don't know how charlie's going to use it i guess he'll edit the footage and, and and we'll see but um yeah so and we're about yeah probably about a third of the way through the edits so uh, or at least from my perspective, and then obviously Charlie has to then process them all and and take them from there. But uh, yeah, there was also what was it? There was a line in in our Doris. I won't be able to find it now, but he he poked fun at low fat uh, yogurt in both in both Doris Ahoy and in the Secret Project, which I'm currently editing. So that was cool. Um, and actually, it's been nice to read this while doing the edits to kind of get me back into Charlie's voice. Although also one thing we do have to keep watching out for is that sometimes he forgets that he's not like narrating as Harold and then slips into dialect. And in the other book, it's narrated by like third person, sort of regular, regular writings. Okay, it is currently, what is it today? It is Sunday the 15th of September. It is in the evening and I'm just settling down to do a bit of work. I've had a bit of a weird weekend, really. I was at an open mic on Friday. Then yesterday I worked a bar at some wrestling. And so today I've been getting back into work. Uh, I haven't actually had my camera. It was in, I left it in, basically me and my friend took each other's guitar cases by accident. So I've only just gone back to pick my uh, my case up, which had this camera in it. So I haven't been able to film an update, but I've, I've done a bit more editing. Uh, we've now, like, the rest of the editing or whatever is, is funded so it's just down to me really just to to get down and crack on but we're probably I would say over a third of the way through it and um, yeah it was interesting because I said to uh, Charlie in an email to him I was like you know we're, we're a third of the way in and there are like two bodies now I think <laughs> and he was like um, you know oh, oh don't worry the, the body count won't get much higher and I'm like oh, that's a shame maybe I'll suggest some places where we could kill a few other people off who are annoying but um yeah, it's really good so far, really impressed with it. So yeah, get your copy if you haven't got your copy yet. Okay, so I've done some more editing. So let's have a look where we're on page 95 of 214. So getting on for halfway. Somebody else has died. So when Charlie said there weren't gonna be like many more bodies, 
I guess he was wrong. Uh, I'll give you a few of my comments here just to give you an idea of what the edits look like. So uh, we've got 147 comments so far. So uh, we've got comment 143. You've made this mistake a few times. Be careful of it. Lead is past tense. Lead is present. Comment 144, this kind of dates the story. Why not just the latest decor trends so that it's evergreen? Because it said the latest decor trends in 2015 or something. Comment number 145, this is a mindfuck of M dashes. They should be used sparingly and there are way too many here. Two maximum, please. Suggest a rewrite. Number 146, suggest pulling just because it doesn't add anything. Try to be as concise as possible. So yeah, I mean, I'm having fun though. I, I'm really enjoying reading and, and editing this one and... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to halfway as well, so halfway is page 107, which is another 12 pages, so probably get there today. Hello, uh, latest update on the editing, what are we on now? It is currently uh, Tuesday the 24th of September, there's an open mic night tonight, which I'd normally go to this one, but um, I woke up kind of late and haven't really been feeling it. So I've been cracking on with some of the edits, I'm now about 25 A4 pages away from the end, but also it's double spaced. So we're really getting to the point where, uh, you know, that classic detective novel thing of getting all the suspects together into one room. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what the resolution of it all is. But so far I've been very impressed. And um, I don't really know what else, what else there is to say, really. I guess I'll do another update right at the end once I've finished editing it. Overall, very impressed to go out and buy uh, an heir to murder. I, I guess I can say the name now. I don't know. Hello, it is, what is the date today? It is the 26th, Thursday the 26th of September, and we're all done. So I've finished my batch of edits and sent it back to Charlie. We may do, like I might have another read through it, or we might have a round of proofreading with somebody else. Yeah, uh, we've still got to figure out the details of that. But yeah, really enjoyed reading it and really enjoyed working on it. I don't know if there's going to be another update in this series or not, because it depends what happens next. And obviously the publishing process takes a long while. So I might continue to film updates here and there and update this, uh, you know, as I go. But I'll probably also cut a version of this, which is just what I've done so far. Leave it as unlisted. Link it to Charlie so that so that he can re uh, have a look at it. So hi, Charlie, if you're watching, you're the only person who's seen this. Don't worry. As long as you obviously don't share that link anywhere. But um, yeah, this is what I got. I mean, I might, as I say, if we continue doing stuff together closer to the launch and whatnot, I can update it there. And then we can update up, and then I can post this video sort of as and when best suits the marketing, really, around the release. But it's been fun to do an editing vlog. It's not something I've done before. It was also really fun working on the project. I mean, I think I've talked about in the videos past, but there are different bits that I sort of highlighted on that were common mistakes. So one of them being uh, lead instead of lead. Uh, which is an error that Charlie was aware of, but obviously I think he he became aware of it after he wrote this manuscript. And I think in time for Doris Ahoy, and obviously his uh, editors in the past picked up on it as well. Uh, just a few other things as well, like I said before, sometimes the omniscient narrator was speaking in the dialect that the characters used. Uh, and sometimes there were phrases that were unclear, but most mostly it was great, it was like humorous cozy detective mystery. I actually would recommend to Charlie, if he's watching, reading A Murder to Die For by Stephen Colgan if he hasn't already, because that's got some similarities in terms of it being like a humorous cozy detective mystery. And obviously it's got some similarities with Driven as well. I think all three of those books, to be honest, they all have the potential, like, they rank up there against fully, you know, traditionally published novels, like Not To Toot My Own Horn. But uh, yeah, I'm really proud of Driven. I think I did a really good job of it, working with my editor with Pam. And I think uh, you guys are really going to like Charlie's book as well. And Stephen Colgan's one is, is cracking as well. But yeah, so there we have it. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know if you're going to pick, be picking up your copy of a mur no, an Heir to Murder. <laughs> Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.